He has to beef up. He's not normally a big person. He is a slightly built male. That, you know, the character, the original character he played in the first Avenger, the thinner guy was Chris Evans. You mean the first Captain America? First, the, no, it's the first Avenger, Captain America, the first oh, Avenger, that was the title. But the character that you saw that was trim, that became Captain, Captain America, that actually was the way Chris Evans looks in real life. Didn't he lose, I mean, that was one of the incredible parts about that what movie. What he did he, was he put he on. He transformed, but didn't, didn't he lose weight? No, that he was, was really him. He put small. on 40 pounds of weight. To beef up, you know, he only added like 40, I think 40, 45 pounds of weight in order to become a different person. But it, the remarkable part is, if you looked at it scale wise, he just looked like a little, I'm going to say this, a little wimp, he's, and then a big muscular guy. But he is a, he, he, you know, he's, he's, he's a fairly tall person, around six. He's actually taller than Chris Hemsworth, who is Thor. Oh, is he? Because yeah. in the first one, he didn't look like it. Chris Hemsworth. Um, he, he did great in the role. I mean, all of them, you know, part of it is, is all of them did great. It, it seems like it was like almost the perfect casting for all oh, of yeah. them. Oh, yeah, I like Hemsworth because he, he had a good He didn't have to hide the fact he's from Australia because he's mm. got that very, he's got that very strict uh, British accent and from Australia. Thick. And yeah. makes it look like he's from, you know, pronouncing the words exactly properly like they would from Asgard. He was using speaking like, when he does something over here, he has to get rid of that accent when he plays Thor, but, um, but uh, like I said, um, I mean, the like when we see the more we see of Jeremy Bourne, the more Jeremy Renner. Jeremy Renner. He, but he's, he's calling gone. him Bourne because he's gonna he's oh, replace he's, Matt Damon for Matt Damon 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 supremacy. Movies. But the more you see of him, the more you see is a really good action actor coming along, yeah. because he's um, he can be mean as hell, but if you look at him, he's sort of the. He's the guy that is really good at what he does, which is Jeremy Bourne, which is, I guess, what is Jeremy, the same name, Jeremy Bourne, I don't remember. But the same, and for Bourne, he, he has that look of being just like you are, because when he wears his suits and stuff, he doesn't look like he's muscular. Um, another one that surprised me on this was Agent Phil Coulson, which is Clark Gregg, which who is, most of you would recognize from The Adventures of Old Christine on television. I know. I didn't realize, but... Part of it is, I'm used to see him on TV, and then I saw him on this, and I'm like... Yeah, he he's, is he's a pivotal about. character in he this. He really is. He is the reason the Avengers... United. United is because of him. Yeah. So, um, he, he played... He, he plays a really good hero worshiper. And Samuel Jackson. Oh, Samuel he's Jackson. Samuel Jackson. He, he just, Samuel Jackson. It's like he is him in, in that leadership commanding role like you see him in so often. But if you look carefully, Samuel Jackson also got himself in shape because this was a movie where all of the leads had to be in good condition. They he's, were. He, but he's playing, you know, but um, uh, you have, like I said, Garland Johansson was the second, you know, like we've talked about it before, but she really was the second uh, thing to be marveled at because this woman can do, she can kick ass. Yeah, we can see, we can see her coming up as an action yeah. star, not just a dramatic star. Um, now, one of the things I remember yesterday when we were sitting there talking about the movie, you, you were talking about it, the movie came to life mm -hmm. when, when, when Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans came on the screen. Until yeah. then, it was just basically, it was, like it, it, it was just like you were doing a standard pot boiler, you know. You got you one point to another point to another point, action thrown in gratuitously. It's like when they get the girl out of her clothes, they this is gratuitous nudity. This was gratuitous action. It really didn't need to take place. <laughs> because they could have they could have went from A to D just by going from A to D. Instead they basically did oop until they got to the title sequence. You know, in this movie, there's so many times when you see a movie, um, where you, you go, oh, that looks like a really expensive movie, or that doesn't look like an expensive movie. Okay, there's nine, we got 19 pages of screen credits. Well, I've never one, seen that many in my when life. When we saw the movie, we're, I remember we looked at each other and we're like, how much did they spend on this movie? What was the budget? You said. It's somewhere between 220 and 260. That's millions, which means yeah. theoretically it's impossible for the movie ever to make a profit. Although, see what's different is on Avatar, I think they never disclosed it. Yeah. There are estimates on this. Well, there's <laughs> estimates, there is estimates that Avatar didn't make a profit either. And Avatar was... It's the it, grossing movie of all time, and there's estimates it still has... Actually, no, they, uh, they finally agreed last week that Avatar has made a profit. Okay. That was Which, with this 3D run, they made it, a profit. And some of you are thinking, how could it not make money? Well, because every time they're releasing it, there's all of the marketing costs mm -hmm. and everything. And, well, one of the things that this has, that Titanic... 
I mean, Titanic also had some other things, but this has already has characters where there's a lot of uh, licensing that goes along with oh, it. Oh, yeah. I mean, okay, there are Iron Man toys, there are Captain America toys, there are Thor toys. So you can also expect there are Hawk toys, mm -hmm. and, uh, and well, there's Incredible Hulk toys also. Yeah. And there'll be Knight, there'll be uh, Nick Fury toys, Fury, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. toys. Hydra was really not in this, so there won't be Hydra toys from it. But part of it is, is you can expect to see more licensing from the different characters. Yeah. Right? And, uh, and before Christmas, you're going to see uh, another Thor and another Captain America movie come out before Christmas. So. Oh, really? Yeah, that'd be my guess. Wow, you could really have a total Avengers Christmas this holiday because by that time, you will probably have the DVD release out. Yeah. Right? After um, they said six months. <laughs> Unless they're still in the theaters, which basically here here's our basic problem is. But they'll want the, it out for holiday. Release. The dark, the, the uh, dark shadows. Dark, no, dark shadows is coming out, which okay. is going to cut into it somewhat. Batman is coming out, oh. which is going to cut into it, and Battleship is coming out, which is going to cut into it. So it's hard to foresee it making enough money to justify the cost it was put into it. It has to get some. Oh. It really has to butcher. Yeah. One or two of the other movies. I mean, well, and this is also what's the date today? This is not. This is early. Yeah. Because they're they're trying to get a jump on all of the because they knew summer they knew okay, box office. They're they're um, okay. They're praising the fact that it's made two hundred and twenty million dollars out of the country and hasn't opened in its biggest foreign markets yet, which means I thought that was kind of unusual. Why do you think? Well, because the, that? because three D is um, actually we were at, we were at the. 3D stuff today, and uh, 3D is just not going over well in the United States. I mean, the, most of the people talking about 3D know, know what the hell they're talking about. Like, you know, that in the beginning, 3D was the major brought in the majority of the money on films, and today, mm -hmm. that you know, the 2D, no, 2D is not bringing, you know, the 3D brings in three dollars to every one dollar brought in on 2D because. There's a secondary reason. Why? The majority of the theaters they show a 3D movie in are 3D theaters, not 2D. So it's impossible to make the to make more money on a 2D side than it is the 3D. And that info is of course from like box office mojo or yeah. last year's box office totals. Yeah, but um, we're talking about you know it's a, just a movie like well, I guess we just sort of wrap this one up. Would you, you, you know, we actually said earlier, we, we disclosed earlier for early on because we really liked the movie. Would you have paid to go see this movie to begin with? Yeah. We were going <laughs> we to. Were, we were planning on paying the egg for the left the extra long one where you spent 15 hours of the theater yeah. to we, pay, see all of them for $40. Yeah, we actually have an invitation Thursday night to go stand in a waiting line to see if you can get in to see it again. I don't think I'm going to. Yeah, because the you know the movie it's a premiere it's a it's a pre roll before the movie comes on before it's released at twelve but I don't you know the chance of, you you think that anybody is going to pass up the opportunity to go see the movie for free no no it's not <laughs> going to be done so we would not have a chance but we probably if possible we will go see the movie this weekend on IMAX. Which is really an ungodly experience to see an IMAX movie in 3D. Yeah. Because it's just a whole different thing. The sound system is better, and everything about the IMAX because it's shot in a, it basically. I, I the IMAX also takes away some of the problems that 3D has when you're basically uh, transforming it from 2D to 3D. It sort of it sort of smooths it out a bit. Well, part of it is, is we enjoy the IMAX. So if a move, an action movie is an IMAX, we go to see IMAX. Yeah. It's we always will pay to see IMAX because you can't get in to see IMAXs. Well, actually, you can, but we're not on that list. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're working our way. Mm -hmm. But um, this, you know, unlike John, okay, uh, unlike John Carter, which we really get bad reviews to. This one, you know, it's okay. We're telling you, it is harmless. It's just movie movie violence. They do lots of people get killed. I mean, lots of people get killed. Every, this is this is family fun. It, it's, it, it's it's basically if you were thinking cowboys and Indians and the mm -hmm. Avengers as the cavalry and the bad guys as the Indians, it's nothing more than an old western set in the twenty first century. Mm -hmm. So and um, but it, it uh, you can set at the end of the movie sets up the next sequel, folks. Mm -hmm. You like you've not seen the end of Loki.
No, not at all. You're not, is that and right? if you're not certain who Loki is, that means you didn't see Thor. You didn't see Thor. And, and, uh, and you haven't seen Avengers yet, which you're going to seen. probably. Okay, here's the trick. is a print white. Why Thursday is important to a lot of people because Thursday sort of explains where everybody but two people came in from. Because you're seeing Iron Man, you're seeing Incredible Hulk, you're seeing Captain America the first. Yeah, Avengers, how they all developed. How they developed, how they got to this point. And, uh, and then, the, let's see what it is, the Black Widow and Hawk are basically, basically one's a spy and the other's a professional assassin working for S.H.I.E.L.D. And uh, it basically vaguely explains in the movie how they came about. So guess what the next movie featuring them Are they going to have their yeah, own movies? Probably. They're going to have their own movie and they're going to explain how they came about. So, and, and basically, here's the trick is too. When you watch the movie, I'll give you a tip. Scarlett Johansson lies to everybody. She, she's a flat out liar. I mean, well, they call her Black Widow. Yeah, don't trust yeah. it. Okay, whatever she and says, she really you cannot good. believe. If she says, you know, I, you know, I've got something on my ledger book to get off, which means she probably hasn't a damn thing to get off the ledger. She doesn't really feel sorry for anything. She'll lie to get anything she wants. <laughs> You know, you know, so it's why she gets, you know, she really gets kicked around a lot in this movie because of her lying. So. Oh, there's some really funny scenes, but she can totally kick it. Yeah, <laughs> no, she's very athletic. Well, she started out as a child actress also, and she's maturing into more parts like this, you know, and, uh, and my trick to problem is I have no idea how much of the stunts people actually were doing themselves, but there's an awful lot of being knocked. I think a lot of Chris Evans stuff, some of the Chris Evans stuff he does with no mask on. And you can basically bet yeah. that when he takes that, when that hood is taken off and he gets knocked across the room, that's him getting knocked across the room. Whereas Chris, the, and Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, Chris Evans yeah. because it's Chris Hemsworth. Chris Evans is my name. Hemsworth. Basically, Hemsworth, okay. Um, but a lot of the, okay, a lot of this athlete, well, actually, Jeremy Renner. Renner you can, he does a lot, I mean, it, it, but um, it is a stuntman movie, I mean, there's a lot of people being thrown all over. Oh, actually, place. if you like stunts, you'll really like Oh, this. God, if you like stunts, you know, there's a whole long list of stuntmen. On this Fantasy, movie. people that love comics, um, yeah. yeah, you'll enjoy it. And remember that as a franchise goes, they got that awful amount of material already written that they could play with. All they got to do is to, you know, and pick and choose, well, okay, we'll go to like 1990 and we'll take one of the stories there. And because it, 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 it's irrelevant that the time difference, the time frame is wrong, simply because it's, it, 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 there's no time frame in this movie. None. Other oh, than the that's fact true. It's, it's after World War, okay. Iron yeah, Iron you can't you can't identify. Oh, this was done in 2010. No, you can't right. identify it. The, the, whether 2000, 2010, 2019, 2020, there is no identifying thing for the date. All it is is set in a time in a, in a city of New York where basically we think it was shot in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, well, I'm just curious how he got that black saddle T-shirt on for so much of the movie. I know, I know. There, there, there's lots of product placement in that movie, folks. lots of product, and a lot of song, you know, I mean, a lot of product placement. But, um, Prominently displayed, the Black Sabbath t-shirt. Yeah, but, um, but, um, and cars prominently displayed and destroyed. You know. The Acura? Acura, yeah, a lot of Acura damage. But, um, no, but, you know, this is just our review. But it's one of the movies that we would recommend that you go spend your money to go see, because you'll be entertained. And it is a family movie. And it was also a movie that, for the first, we have not been in a movie in a long time, other than the Muppets, where people are plotting and going, Oh, yeah, yeah they did at the end of the movie. And actually, did we say this at the beginning? I'm assuming there it's was, like people stayed to watch all the credits, oh, which God, doesn't yeah. typically it's happen. I mean, the majority of the people in the room, okay, the problem was, well, it was a mixture of press people and invited guests. Mm -hmm. And the invited guests were staying there longer than a lot of press people. But no, but they, um, it, it, it's something different. I mean, uh, we want to see what it looks like. Actually, we have actually went across the board on some movies. We did it with Pirates. We saw 2D, 3D, and IMAX. Did you see three versions? Yeah, we saw oh. three versions. <laughs> so we saw the, uh, I think we saw IMAX behind us, 
two uh, D and one theater, and we went to uh, we got to, we had a, actually we had discount cube tickets, so we saw the three D version in another theater. But it's the only we've seen. We try if we can, you know, with, considering monetary restraints, to go see a movie in as many forms as possible. That you know that we've seen. That's it. how you can tell we really do enjoy the movie. <laughs> yeah, because uh, at the at the very least, we pay for two of the three forms that we go see it in. Mm -hmm. So and we. You know, I'm inter I'm, I, we already know that it was shot in 2D, so we already know that the 2D version has probably got awful great. I bet it's fabulous. No. Yeah. yeah, but we don't know what the three, we don't know what the IMAX is going to be, so we won't know that until if we can we go. But I guess until our next review, you know, this is Old Gamma. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.modibubble.net on the net or www. Uh, news video, MBN. the MBN <laughs> news video web dot com on the net. I, I get confused. I'm getting old. And wherever you're watching, to subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet. And I think I know what you're getting for Christmas. <laughs>